Okie dokie. <clears throat> Just finished up my dinner. And I wanted you hear guys to be able to hear the cool rock music. Let's see if I can puzzle. <laughs> now, I didn't look up the ending, but I did look up, um, like, a final, uh, like, a playthrough of, like, the last part to see how long it would be. And someone who actually knew what they were doing took an hour. So I'm hoping that me not knowing what I'm doing will take about two or three. <laughs> I don't know if this is the last puzzle and the rest is like cutscene things or if it's all puzzle puzzle. Okay, so I think we can light up lots of things now, right? Um, Hello, Hi, Jin! <laughs> Is this Minecraft? <laughs> no, Jin, it's not Minecraft. Tis blocky. But. Let's see. So we need to light up all the things, right? I guess I don't need lights. I ain't going anywhere. And whatever this is. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I do. Sonar record time. Long, short, long, long. Four shorts. Long, long, short, short. So I guess we'll do the first one. Long, short, long, long. I don't know how many seconds is considered a long or a short. Uh, this one? Fog, light, signal receiving. What? Did I miss something? Long, long, man. Broken. Is this thing broken? Okay. I thought I turned everything on and made all the bits. Um, what do I have? I have a pinion? It's a gear? A battery cell? Maybe there's still stuff I need to do? I thought I had everything. You know. So, that thing's whirring away. Can I look down? That thing's wiggling. Where would I need to add a gear? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll turn off all this stuff and turn on all the lights. And go wandering around, seeing what needs a tiny gear. Maybe it's down here? <coughs> no, that's just the way out. Okay. Um. Huge, number huge number of gears can be seen through the windows and the recently installed. Okay. Play a video game. Okay? I'm already playing a video game. Let's see, I've already poked this robot. Uh, this is buzzing away. That's buzzing away. Uh, what about you? I think this is where I take the battery out of. Let's 
see, this has energy. Is this supposed to have energy? Did I put the gear around here somewhere? No. Up there, maybe? Gear? No. Why not? Okay. Sonar sensor can't work without power. I mean, I don't need the sensor, right? I thought I was just going to be blinking the signal light over and over. But... There's like a gear over there. Do I need that? Can I put in my battery thing? No. Can I take out the other battery? Yes. Okay. Can I put a battery in here? No. Okay. Can I put a battery in here? No. Okay. What's this? Nothing. Splash splash. <coughs> you know, I don't play shooters, but <coughs> I could play the first Wolfenstein games on PC because it's one of the more recent ones. I mean, I could. I have a lot of games I could play. Is there any way we could cut this poor guy down? I mean, it says it's a puppet, but it looks like a robot to me. Mm. It seems like the battery should be in here. The shell of a boat accumulator. What does it accumulate? Energy? Seaweed? I can go over here. Let's stare at the door that I can't open. Can I go down? No. Nope. I bang my head on the gears until they move? I don't think that'll work. Do you want this? No. Okay. What do I do? These things are going, so I have lots of power. I don't really know how that helps me, but I have lots of power. I turned on the thingies and then it said I wasn't allowed to use it. Like it was broken. Choo. Is there anything in here? No. Uh, can I take this? Well, I can move that up there, but I don't know what good that does me really. Can I use it while I'm on the thing? Hoppies? Central pole is missing. Now that it can't be started. But we literally just moved it! Huh? I don't understand. Is there something I can put on it? Can I put something on the counterweight? No. Okay. A pole? <coughs> My character plays the old version of the game? Of him? What? 
I don't think there's a detective type game in there. There's just the one where you like have like a spaceship that you slowly go up and try not to get bonked. Okay, well, let's turn off video games. Oh, which one is that? It's bench. Okay, let's turn off those. Turn on these. Uh, where's the signal thingy? Am I out? Okay. Wrong one. I want this one. Which one was the signal light? I forgot. This one. It's a long, short, short, long. Or was it the other way around? Oops, wrong button. <clears throat> okay, so what does this say? Long, short, long, long. Okay. Fog light's turned off. Uh, no it's not. That's the fog light, isn't it? I have to leave it on and tug it from here? I mean, I guess I can do that. I thought I was gonna have to click it here. But he wants to click it using the little horn thing, I guess. Yes, long, short, long, long. This one? Inputting sound wave failed. Fog light signal receiving device not working. What does that mean? Can you just let me tug it? Can I just tug it long, short, long, long? I don't understand. Do I have to leave something on? Is it this thing? It's broken? But I don't know how to fix it. Because I tried putting in the little gear and it said it wasn't good. I am confusion. I feel like I'm missing an item and I need to craft one more thing. But I have no idea where I could find the thing. Because... You wanna eat your apples? Okay, come here, kiddo. Mm -hmm. Mommy's having trouble with this puzzle. There you go. So it says I can't use this because it has a pole, but I can move it anyway. Because it's just dumb like that. Um, I mean, there's nothing really up there that I see. Can I just put in long, short, long, long? <laughs> Fog light signal receiving device. But I can't get to the other boat. Like, what? I am missing something. I don't know what- ugh. I wanted to go downstairs, but I went through the same door again. I mean, at least it doesn't take a lot of loading between scenes. It's one of the main benefits of having something that's, uh, like a, a much smaller amount of graphics. Wait. Metal handle. The control rod if combined with something. I was supposed to grab the umbrella? Well, okay. Fair enough, I suppose. It made a whole deal about the umbrella flying out of the tube. Which light is this? Uh, nope. Nope. Oh wait, I have to turn off stuff to see. It's this one. Okay. Okay. Down we go. Craft the stick. Stick, stick, stick. OK. 
Okay. So combine this with stick. Yes. Rocker. A special control bar made with the umbrella handle. No warranty. Okay. So is there something up there that's useful? Install thingy. I even went through the trouble of painting it red for some reason. So now I can send myself up, I guess. Uh. Uh. Now I can go up and down. That's cool. This is where I came from, so I don't know what I could have, like, missed, really. Okay. Down I go. Did I miss a part over here? No. Is there a part in this box? Uh, this thing? No. Part? Oh, hello. Dr. Edward? Wasn't he just alive like an hour ago? Congratulations, the murderer is captured. Murderer is dead and cannot answer for his crimes. However, I have helped Mr. Detective and made him confess. It was he who kidnapped the robot innocents and conducted terrible experiments. But that, these are not his worst crimes. The worst crime was going against my will. Okay. Missing underbridge robots were indeed the work of the doctor. Nanko was right. Yep. Noah and Dr. Edwards seem to be working together for a good long time. The doctor must have played an important role in making the nano fluid and planting the device to manipulate robots. I mean, he definitely installed it. That was pretty obvious, but... I don't know if he actually worked on the fluid part. Now, having abandoned the doctor at this stage suggests that his plan's almost complete. But the doctor seems to have been killed last night. Does this mean someone else made the sculpture? There's nothing else to do except dance to Noah's tune. Maybe he'll reveal himself. What's next? Making the signal receiver work properly. Okay, can I have the zap rat? Barely able to move due to indigestion by ingesting too much energy. Well, you're gonna charge my battery, little rat. Okay, so what's this? Can I go in there? No. Okay, let's go combine rat. He doesn't have any legs anymore. Oh right, the doctor was missing. I forgot about that part. Well, we found him. <laughs> Sometimes you find things you don't want to find. Uh, let's go downstairs and combine rat with... Whatever the thing is that looks like a battery case. Okay, combine this with rat. It is now a charged battery. Okay. And then we go down. And put it in here. In you go. Boop! Okay, now is it all good? I mean, these gears aren't lit up. Maybe they'll light up once I have energy in them. Let's go try to light up everybody. Turn off lamp. Turn on patrol center. Okay. I want your bill. Okay, I'll pop it open for you. Pop! There you go, kitten. I can get all those legs. Okay. <laughs> Turn that off. Uh, what is this? More signal light. Yes. Control center. Yes. Sonar. Sure. 
I think that's all the things. I don't think I really need anything else. I can light that up for fun, but I don't need to. Okay, so now will the thingy work? Push the button. What what else is there? I'm out of items. Okay, I must have to reroute something over there. I'm not sure what exactly. Just let me pull the lever. I can do the longest and shorts. Just do like one second and three second, you know? I can signal. I don't I don't need my person to do that. <laughs> I, oh it's helpful. Okay. So I need something to go here. That's a gear, but not the gear I was holding earlier. Uh okay. Can I click these? I mean, there's a red gear, but I don't know how to get to it. So I can't, like, tug on the puppet or anything. At least he didn't say anything about moving it. Can I poke this? Gears on the left seem to be connected to the cabin above, and the gears on the right control the lift. Okay, so can I change that? If it can change the route, then change it? I don't understand. Usually when it's something like this, I can click it a few times and get what I want. Do I change this one? Uh, please go that way. And this way. No, this way? Okay. What is this button? Okay. It seems happy. Push the red button. It go down. Okay, now I can go get the red gear. I'm glad I didn't try this uh, when I originally got to this point, like at 10 or 11 at night, because I think I just would have been very confused. It's an unusual red color. Yes. Can I go over here and tie down the puppet robot? No. Okay. Let's install red gear. Boop. Okay. And then we'll point it back at this thingy. Uh, and then we'll try the signal light again. I don't know why the controls are separate. It doesn't usually do that. Okay. Uh, that seems good. Probably. Up I go. So now, control center and boop the button, I guess. Button? Button go now? Hey, the skulls turn! Excellent! I was hoping the skulls would turn. I like the skulls. Okay, that's all three. I better head over to the receiving cabin. Seems like there's activity over there. Oh, uh, you could say that, yeah. Boop. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, oh, I have to go down a little. Okay. Boop. I didn't even get to put in the long, short, long, long. I just have to let him do it. I'm not sure he even pulled the lever. I think he just kind of put in the code. 
Can I really not go up that way? Uh, okay, I guess we have to put power to the lift. That seems silly, but okay. Can do, boss. Uppies. Uppy lifties. Okay. Uh, it's still going for some reason, even though we had to power it on by turning on this one. I don't really understand why it does that, but okay. I guess it has its own power source. Okay. Inside the definitely not trapped place. Let's see exactly what you're trying to do. Uh. More murder? This is what I saw in my hallucination before. Many dead bodies, seems Noah's experiments have never stopped. Long, short. I wonder if they just spell Noah, because that's three letters. Ever since the unlabeled parcel at the beginning of this journey, Noah has been laying traps to bring me deeper and deeper. What could he want? He wants to see where all your brain works. He's fascinated. This is it. Ends right here, right now. Uh, I'm not sure it'll end when you're tripping balls. It's a lot of Noah masks. Oh! That's quite the statue. Long time no see, detective. And then he died. The end. <laughs> the end in the mist. Well, it does have the word the end in it. Uh, where, where am I? I remember repairing myself and now I'm in the sewer? Uh, yeah, I don't know how you got to the sewer, to be honest. That part's still fuzzy. Like, I don't know how this section happened. Right. That's what we did at the beginning. He even went back for his hat. Yes. He was adding more parts to himself. Because he is broken. No, oh, that's right. He attacked me from behind with a scythe? Surprised how much restoration this crappy machine was able to do. Falling from such a height, my body was almost shattered. Given the state your legs were in, I'm not surprised I'm surprised we didn't have to repair those more than your ankle. I have to get back to that sculpture. No one must be stopped. How do I get there though? I don't even know where I am. The sewer? Meow, meow. William! The best character. William, why are you? Oh, yeah, you did a big favor earlier. Meow. Meow, meow. What are you trying to tell me? You gonna take me somewhere? You're able to find me, so you should know how to get back up. Let's go, little fella. Meow. Oh, can I grab anything before I go? No. Okay. This poor dude. Okay. So we're back in weird shroom land. Weird mushrooms. Meow! Meow meow! That way? Well, okay. Fair enough, William. We're running, running, and running, 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 and running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running. Inside the abandoned cabin. Uh, don't mind me, cat. I'm tripping balls. Sculpture. This is the place. Good on you, William. You'll get a nice reward after all this. When I have money. Which I will totally get at some point and not just keel over from mushroom highness. Meow, meow. 
I was attacked by Noah here. He might still be around. I must be vigilant. Okay, let's look over this way then first. Start with the sculpture. But you said to look for him. Okay, fine. What's this? No comment? Okay. Sound? Uh, my head. This feels... I mean, I assume it says Noah because it's only three letters. Oh! The sculpture and everything. Don't tell me I was just hallucinating. I mean, that was a pretty good job. Did they hallucinate that whole sculpture and every and all the deads and everything? The mushrooms are real, but not much else was. What's that? Is that trash? I thought contact with implant device was only triggered to the hallucination, but this time, perfect hallucination was created without one. Noah's lurking inside the hallucination? <sighs> first things first, let's inspect it. Thank you for clawing its guts out. I want to pet the kitty for being a good boy. <sighs> Why does he have to be so hard-boiled, detective? Signal projector with implant devices at the core, capable of projecting hallucinogenic si signal waves. It's been destroyed by William. I mean, yeah. The core of this weird device is the same as the implanted device inside Frank's brain. Is this thing creating the hallucinations? Instead of creating hallucinations, I think this thing is more like a signal projector. The core receives external signals, amplifies them, and then projects them. Uh, why are you here? I thought you couldn't leave the old ship. I noticed that little thing you have on you is a majorly large storage capacity. So I decided to follow you and check how you deal with that guy in the mask. Are you in my head? <laughs> but once I got here, I felt a strange electrical disturbance and got stuck in that little thing. I was cutting my way out when I was suddenly I was free to leave. Little thing you mentioned, you were inside the badge from Lola? When I got here, the badge lost signal. The disturbance you're talking about wasn't from this device, right? Yes, this device has been receiving and amplifying some sort of electrical wave, but that should only influence robots. You seem to have a strong reaction, though. Is your body mechanical? It's a rare success story. Why does everyone know about my physical condition? You, you're kind of obvious, dude. Like, the way that you take hits and stuff. Anyway, it seems like Noah made this thing as a trap for me. The electrical wave may continue influencing your special little brain. You need to be careful. I can see it's much less stable than when we first met. Hard to describe, but I can feel the disturbance in my mind. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, the badge is activated. Signal must be sent from Charles. Signal came from an elevator shaft to the right. Signal's faint, but definitely there. Okay, let's have a look. I hope Noah didn't put that old man on the experiment bench. Thanks, little fella. It's time I promote you to be a full time partner. Okie dokie. Hello. So, the kiddo wanted to have some chocolates, but we don't have any. And so she requested that we put chocolate sauce into the freezer and then we'll see if it actually makes chocolates. <gasps> Thank you, Alpha! How are you doing? I had the wrong headphones in. I'll unplug these. So yeah, we'll see if we have chocolates, but I don't think chocolate sauce in the freezer will make chocolates. <gasps> Another hug! Yeah. Yeah. Hug good. <laughs> okay, so. Thanks, little fella. I think it's time I promoted you to being my full-time partner. That means I give you orders, you can follow them. Uh, <laughs> meow, meow. But it isn't going to get. But it's going to get very dangerous from now on, so you should head back home 
If something happens to you because of me, your little girlfriend Elizabeth won't stop pissing in my plant pots. <laughs> okay. No more inspection? Okay. Go ahead. We'll arrive at a abandoned ship plant and there's nothing worth looking at. Okay, so we'll go the other way. Now that we're out of hallucination land. Uh, button? Anything over here? Nothing but fungi and trash. Okie dokie. This elevator looks creepy. Is it still working? You're about to find out, boy! Look at him bobbing! Where's this elevator taking me? Charles signal is getting stronger. No, it was researching far more than nanofluid and implant devices. If that signal projector is truly what the captain described, then even without coming into contact with an implant device, it could influence the minds of robots everywhere. If you have a bigger version of it, yeah. That one was relatively small and it affected you, but in a very short range. This elevator down. This elevator went down pretty far, way down below the bottom of the ship. This is a giant underground factory. Seems to have been a long time ago. It is mushroom now. Nothing but shroom. I've never seen this kind of fungus before. The mushroom umbrella looks like a balloon. It's so thin. It looks like it might, uh... Pop! Slightest shock is enough to set off the fungi. I wonder whether these spores can do anything. I assume so. Inhale these spores if you want to die. These fungi have been exposed to nuclear waste, so their spores are full of poison. Nuclear waste... Poison... Not necessarily. It's... It's nuclear. It's not a poison. It's just a... It's just how the... Atoms interact with your body. It's not technically a poison. I don't know what you would call it instead, though. Poison's good enough. You see a lot when you're attracted, attached to a ship for years with nothing to do. Could you give me a warning before you appear? It seems like you're familiar with this place. I am an AI with access to a database so massive you couldn't even imagine. This was an underground factory during the human-robot war, long forgotten by time. Be careful. Several entries warn of creatures sighted in the depths. These kind of abandoned factories remind me of Noah's old hideouts. He liked building bases deep in the world's dark places. I know, I don't know why I emphasize deep. Vaguely laggy. We're just gonna hop with no care? Okay. A hop and we will go. A hop and we will go. Ha ha, I dare you. A hop and we will go. What's in here? Fluid drops from this discarded tank is, has a strong smell like combustion aid. Is it... Isobutyl lithium complex? Why would you ever mix butane and lithium? I don't know enough about lithium batteries to know if that makes any sense. Did it? Another hug! <laughs> Hop! Hop! Stare. I have to get rid of the weapon. How do I get rid of it? I mean, earlier you just kind of poked it and it exploded. So maybe you can like make a loud noise or something. Can't unscrew it. Need professional tools to turn this valve. Okay, to the tool shed. Looks like you found an abandoned operating room. Everything's broken in here. Trash dump, as you humans would call it. From my experience, you should never underestimate trash. Kind of think of it, you made a lot of tools with trash on my ship, Mr. Junk Collector. I thought you were absolutely in love with the Destiny Fire, so why are you calling it trash? I can call it trash, but no one else can. I see. This lady just lives here now, huh? Big wrench. Main valve on the handle. Screw the outside valve. Yes, but we gotta click all the things. Emergency lamp. Broken glass exterior is intact, so things can be poured in it. Ooh, nice. Let's go get the weird combustion juice. 
Can I really not turn this lever? It seems silly. This main tube leads directly outside and there's no air coming through. Other tubes must be channeling the air. Right, so let's turn the thing. Okay, so... I want to turn off this one. Boop! Okay. Well, it starts. Wait. Okay, and then... But then we'll get it out, because it has to go through here. And... This has to be blocked off. So do we need another tiny tube? No, neither. Do we have another stick? Okay, let's hop over the dangerous gap. No, no, don't. I know! Fungi, yes. Can we... Guess we'll turn the thingy. Big turn. This tube's still blocked. Had to figure out how to direct the air. Okay. Do we have to use the big one? Also? I mean, there's only one... There's only one of these that we found. Mm. Can we put, like... Right, but you only have one of these suckers. I don't understand. Do we put... Do we... Okay, so we disabled that one. What does that do for us? Nada? I feel like I need two of these. One here and one here. But I don't know how to do two things with one thing. Well, that's more pressure, but the wrong direction. Okay. So we want it on this thingy. So if we put it here. No, that's where it started. Right, but we need another one. Where do we find another one? Is there another one? Is there one outside? Mm, I wanted to jump back across. I don't understand. Wrench. Right. But how how do I block two things with one thing? I don't understand. Do I add a tube? No. What? Okay, do we just block this one? And then See this makes it more pressured, but that doesn't help. Unless I can... Well. Well. Push the button? Right, but I don't have another one. I need two. Don't I? Let me hop back. There we go. Right, so give me slime. Simply throw it, but make sure you don't miss. Uh, okay. Can we throw it at this? Yeet. Yeet. Okay. 
Congrats, you popped it. Now you can't go down. Ha! The flaming bottle sets off the fungi spores! Looks like toxic fog is gonna hang around for a while. What exactly is your plan? You seem to be enjoying seeing me in trouble. I had to get rid of this spore fog. I'm not enjoying it. You could use the tube behind you and steam out coming out to disperse the fog. Blow the fog away. Classic. Yes, but we need a stick. Hello, little robot. Do you have a stick? Yay! He has a stick. Alright. Now I can have the second one and I can do the thing. Alright, so come here, you. Yes, yes. Shush. You. And then shush. You. Okay, it looks like the air has been directed to the main tube. Cool beans. Big wrench. Fog has been driven away. Now I can go down. I mean, yes, but you're also going to be slapped by steam. So I hope you've got steam proof in your list of features. Badge activated again? This must be the right way. Just following the signal. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Poop. That's a good guess. Hey, vampire. How's it going? Isn't it kind of late for you? <laughs> this is like the final chapter of this game. Uh, it literally had the end in the name of the chapter title. So if you want to play this game, you can run away. But if you just want to see me solve puzzles, then uh, enjoy. <laughs> it's just 5 a.m. Uh-huh. A, what's a holographic message doing in a place like this? Must have been left by Noah. What the hell's he up to? Shenanigans. Deadly shenanigans. The purification begins. I want to make sure I get this right. <clears throat> the purification. Apparently, I can't say purification because of the begins. I keep reading begins in the middle of purification. Purification begins with this stubborn woman rejecting the fusion. She is lucky to have her sins washed away so she can become... Welcome, Bassan first. I shall lead the vessel to bear the baptism of the four great sacrifices and engrave the God's decree upon the body of the future. The past ceremonies connect the souls, blessing all who witness Bassan. Illusions connect our thoughts, electrical waves guide the transmissions, and when he realized the truth, the man in the mirror was no longer himself. May you pass the final test, and I will be waiting for you in the depths of the light lake. Okay, Noah. Long rambling paragraph full of contradictions. Uh, I didn't detect any contradictions in there. Where did the beep come from? More hallucination? Uh... Yes. This place transformed into a kitchen. Hallucination without a doubt. The scene is the crime scene of Alta State case. Noah's first ever murder. The start of all this evil. Victims of this case were a housewife and two small town robots. In the crime scene, the three were discovered to have been killed at the same time. The body parts of the three were made into a combined body in the housewife's kitchen. This combined body was the prototype for all the sculptures created afterwards. Noah was still a newbie at the time, but back to practical matters. Another hallucination means another signal projector. I have to find it somehow. Well. First, let's wander. Can we look at anything? Covered. I have a sneeze. <coughs> Blah. Okay. Cupboard full of bowls, plates, and baking tools, which has proved the owner enjoyed life very much. Enjoying food is definitely a thing. Sculpture? There was no such thing at the original crime scene. Is it a human? Three holes in the throat, abdomen, and waist. Yeah, I need to fill the holes to bring, break through the hallucination. 
and in all Noah's cases, the organs of the victims were found missing. Seal's gone. What does the door lead to? What's in here? There are some traveling and baking photos on the fridge. The victim was quite popular in town, but she had something against roverism, and it's reportedly found clashing with robot believers. Bless you. Oh, thank you, vampire. Vampy. <laughs> Interesting. I went through a mirror. Wait, this is Cheryl's dressing room. The this is the crime scene where Noah committed the Singer Sculpture murder on July 3rd, 2126. Murderer was killed Cheryl and her robot assistant and made their bodies into the sculpture of Basson the White, one hour before Cheryl was scheduled to go on stage. I really feel like there was a first game and I missed it, and it's just like reviewing it for me. Well, I love you. <laughs> I love you too, kiddo. The timer hasn't beeped for the chocolate yet. We'll look at it when it beeps, okay? Okay. <laughs> when it beeps. Yes. Beep, beep. Has Noah created this hallucination to relive all the crimes he committed? These hallucinations are becoming more and more clear. Is that because I've stayed in it too long? I have to break through Noah's maze fast. Nope, let's look at all the things. Cheryl's gloves. In addition to Cheryl's DNA, another set of DNA was detected. However, the owner could not be identified due to the unusual hereditary genetic information. Dang it! Can't give a snack to a little one? Yes, you can. It should be available. She can have a snack if you, give, if you want to give her one. These bloodstained lace gloves were very important evidence. In addition to Cheryl's DNA, some dissolved skin tissue was found. DNA of the skin tissue was very confusing. We conclude the murderer suffered from genetic disease characterized by decomposing skin. Judging from the fact the murderer wore the female singer's gloves, we deduce that the murderer might have had some obsession with wearing the victim's clothing in order to become them. Oh. Okay. Bird. There's a white bird now. What's this? Get the little one a snack? Okay. Hey, kiddo! Hey! Come here! Listen, they want to give you a fruit snack. Can you grab one? <laughs> oh, you didn't have enough points. I see, I see. Sweetheart, hope you break a leg. I'll prepare a big celebration banquet on the roof of the company building for you and my family will be there too they can't wait to see you i hope you wear that necklace i gave you last week my driver will pick you up after the show always yours christopher can you say thank you thank you good job can i open it you want to open it this time okay go for it Hello. cheryl's lover would come to visit her with a bouquet Oh, you got it open by yourself. Good job. <laughs> I I think I've seen you do it, kiddo. Let's see, Cheryl's lover would come visit her with banquet, a, not a banquet, bouquet, a bouquet of flowers before every show. He was a successful man, helped her quite a bit in her career. People say Cheryl was hard to live with, but she was extremely gentle to her flower-bearing lover. After Cheryl's murder, he was completely broken and would never be the same. Can I look in the mirror? You gotta go and have go to bed? Okay, have faith. <laughs> you know, my Saturday streams are closer to your time zone if you ever want to catch me then. There's not one this Saturday, but there will be one next Saturday. However words that is words. Good night. Broken wine glass. According to the investigation, Cheryl had a habit of drinking before her shows. There are lip prints on the glass. Cheryl's drink was also found on the crime scene. She contained 60% alcohol and some anesthetic component. 
I, it's believed no, put the anesthetic in the drink. Yes. A vintage record player, which Noah used to play the soundtrack of Cheryl's recent album, probably to cover up the screams. The device doesn't play anymore, probably the result of the witness hurrying out of the room and knocking it over. I'm going to adjust the frequency of the hallucination? Well, okay. Um, that looks about right. Okay. Mm. Oh, you gave me some? Thank you, kiddo. No. Perch snack. Cheryl's voice from the recording that Noah used to buy himself more time to commit the murder. Cheryl's arrogance also assured Noah's success. She allowed no one to interrupt her when she was alone. That's why the staff waited until five minutes before the show to knock her on the door, only to find the horrifying scene. Thank you, kiddo. White bird erupts whenever I find a clue related to the case. I think that's it for this one. Are those white birds some sort of tally? Maybe something will happen now. Okay, just sing. The missing poster was something the police were searching for, but never found. When I saw it in Brank's place, I knew Noah was back. Another one, kiddo? <laughs> Thank you. I guess. This is the sculpture of Basan the White, one of seven embodiments of Basan. Legend claims that Basan once turned himself into a poet wearing a white robe and took away arrogant people's communicators, making it impossible for them to call for help. This sculpture stands for humility during communication. You want to hug the little one? <laughs> she is a cutie. Police only realized it was the embodiment of Basan when they saw the religious symbol Basan left at the crime scene. That Noah left at the crime scene. Basan didn't leave a message. Noah, did you create all this just to make me appreciate your masterpieces one more time? The sharp cries of the arrogant must be cleared away. Basan cleaned up these stains before his arrival by using my hand. The singing voice of the sinners will live in me so that I can praise the miracles of Basan. Noah, stop your nonsense. All you ever wanted was to replace your diseased organs with healthy ones stolen from your victims. You say Cheryl's arrogance killed her, but what crime did that robot assistant commit? Cheryl's assistant suffered from her abuse, his humbleness, a contrast to the singer's arrogance. I didn't kill anyone. I was just combining them. Human and robot, the arrogant and the humble, are merged into one under the will of Basan. No, I'm pretty sure they're dead. The investigator collected the remains of the two bodies in the sculpture and claimed to have retrieved every piece of Cheryl's body. However, I found a subtle cutting marks on the neck, which are much finer than a rough cutting around the rest of the sculpture. By analyzing, by analyzing the forensic records, I found Cheryl's throat missing, which everyone else neglected to notice. Do they not have proper, like, what's it called? Marchiary people that, like, inspect autopsy autopsy they don't have proper autopsy people apparently in the future <laughs> throat organ yes that's probably okay so that's the first thing another door another crime scene let's get this over with war again this feels like a I, I'm playing the second game of the series, and this is just recapping stuff from like the first game that I don't know because I didn't play it. I don't really have a way of knowing if there's this is a sequel or not, but it, it's a very good game. This stage is the secret function room on a cruise ship. The crime scene of the high sea cruise case on January 21, 29th of January 2127. 
Senior officials were parading around robots and freaks that when they were killed. Turns out Noah was a real headliner in this freak show. What was the real hand headliner? I see. This had the most victims among all Mo Noah's murder cases. Everyone, performers and audience, were pieced together into a sculpture. Like one big sculpture? It's uh, quite impressive, actually. The results were so gruesome that not even the most stone-faced police officer was shaken to his core. That... Somehow I didn't read that sentence correctly, but I'm not sure what I said incorrect. Okay. Too dark. Well, let's light it up then. Light it up, 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 light it up. Up, up, light it up, 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 I'm on fire. Okay. What's this? This is where the officials imprisoned the performers. They searched all over the f for freaks and robots, keeping them here in captivity and putting on a freak show regularly. Later, investigation found that several missing cases were linked to the board of officials. Uh. So there's something I gotta put there. I don't know what it is. During the freak show, the audience wore bizarre masks, hiding their true identity so they could enjoy sick and twisted performances. There was one mask missing. One mask missing from the scene. Who would have guessed many years later the missing mask would turn up on Square Street? Bassan's symbol has been left on the mask wall. This was the first time Noah left the symbol at a crime scene. Clue made us realize all the sculptures we found were embodiments of Bazan, which later led us to find out about Roverism. Okay. What is this button? This secret function room was equipped with a state-of-the-art ventilation system. Senior officials like to add recreational drugs to the filtering system. Noah took advantage of this. The operation unit of the ventilation system was purposely destroyed, so I'll have to fix the internal circuits to adjust the fan. Uh, okay. Are we matching symbols here? If so... Can I flippy? Flippy? No. Cannot flippy. Okay. Hmm... Okay, and then... Down by the bay Okay. So I just have to shift all this over there, maybe? This by itself is going to take me a while. So this circle can only go with this one. Uh, technically this is backwards in terms of... Uh, I guess that's why they put the little check mark because if you actually work with electricians or at least with displays for electric electricity like power plants, uh, red is active because red is dangerous, and then green is inactive, which means it's safe. So it's good that they put the check mark in the X there, so you know which one is correct. But this... Hmm. Do we only need one path, not two? Can we put this here? No. So they have to stay their directions. We can't flip them for some reason. Um... Mm. 
Mm. No, I want to put these two. Yeah. Um, so these have to go here, which means the double plus has to go here. And then this goes here. And... Is there anyone else that does this? Hmm. Hmm. This is gonna take a long time. Okay. I don't see anything that can pair with this if this isn't gonna do it. Shouldn't these be pairing together? I guess it doesn't pair together this way. There's only one of these. There's only one, I guess that means it needs to be on the outside. So you guys go over here. And you go up here. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Circle. It's only one circle, so the circle has to go here. Well, down there, technically. And then this would go to here. And then switch these. Okay! That didn't work. That wasn't too bad. Done! Ah, oh, the sweet smell of success. Investigators extracted a kind of poisonous nerve gas from the air filter net, explaining how Noah put more than 40 people down by himself. Noah supposedly made the poisonous nerve gas himself. People who inhaled the gas were not able to move their bodies, but remained totally conscious. But is that some kind of retribution for the audience? Probably. They really pissed him off. Strange unsettling props. Twisted and scary. Okay. So now... Code. Uh... Oh, I just hold it. I wasn't paying attention. Although it looks old, it's actually a rather advanced lock. Analyzing the fingerprints on the buttons, we figured out the password. One button was pressed twice in a row. <gasps> Chocolate! Interrupt the stream to bring you chocolate. Chocolate! I wasn't paying attention, though. It was like, what? Oh, sorry. Be no, not because of you, because I was like... Hey! I think I got it right! I did! Excellent. This color is made for the, um, performers, on which some dissolved skin tissue was found. DNA collected was quite similar to the DNA found at the fi female singer's crime scene. DNA found on the collar is similar to the one found at the, f the female singer crime scene, but consequent- but the sequence was more messy, which means no skin- Decomposing problem was getting worse. Noah must have blended in with the freaks after he arranged everything and performed the show as a special guest. Three white birds. Representing the key clues all lit up. Let's see the next sculpture. It should be pretty big if it had 40 people in it. Smaller than I expected, really. It's actually really well done. Can you imagine making that out of robot meat? Sculpture is of the Messenger of the Garden, another of Bassan's embodiments. This embodiment walked through the courtyard of the gods and presented himself in front of both humans and robots, driving out the evil indulgences. The evil indulgences suppressing them and bringing God's electric wave to all forms of life. These murdered officials represent the indulgent, while Cheryl, in the female singer's case, represented the arrogant. Those crimes followed the prophecies and legend of Bazan's religious sect. Indulgent spirits are lost in the filth, and people who find pleasure in these grotesques will be exiled by me into the abyss. Detective, without me, the sins of these people will never be purified. 
Garified. You killed everyone at the scene, robots and freaks included. They suffered through so much pain only to be murdered by you. Your so-called purification is nothing but a crazy massacre. Both the indulgent and the abused are guilty. Only by combining the two would we neutralize the scene and restore balance. Both sides have found peace under Bassan's guidance. Don't try to excuse your crime. Among all the victims, Noah, Noah you only took software developer's liver. If I hadn't found out about the condition Noah suffered from, I probably would have never discovered the motive for his crimes. One liver. Delicious. Next terrifying crime scene. But like, look how like detailed that one is. If it wasn't made of meat, it would be very pretty. A new door opens. One by one, these crime scenes that match the things left behind by Noah. Poster, mask, means the next one will be... The teddy bear? I think that was the other present we got. Yes. Alright. 1st of April, 2127, Scott Hotel Room 1023, in New Sinu City. Case I especially don't want to recall. Victims were a family of four who came for a holiday at Dolphin Park. Mild genetic modification in the father led to severe genetic disease in the daughter. They kept the disease a secret from the girl, wishing to first fulfill the girl's dreams of seeing a dolphin. They weren't expecting to meet Noah. The robot staff from the hotel were also murdered. Window is facing Dolphin Park. The happy laughter at the park is a sharp contrast to the tragedy inside. Get some rest in the room. The kids are loving the hotel pool. Honey, I feel less car sick after I had some water. Honey, we've picked up... We've been picked as lucky guests tonight. They will give Eliza a personalized dolphin trip. Call the kids back now. Husband was called back to the room by his wife's text message and then murdered by Noah. The evidence suggests that the wife was already dead when the text was sent. Then we get to read the other things. There's no successful cures for your daughter's genetic disease. Although your husband was only mildly genetically modified, the probability of your upstream developing genetic disease was still high. Patient's organs have developed massive lesions and estimated four to five months of life remaining. Again, I am so sorry. It's not much, especially for a little girl. Why must our girls suffer through so much pain? We should have never listened to the propaganda of that company. Mild genetic alteration will not lead to hereditary disease. Our naivety ruined our daughter, little Eliza. I hope to fill her dream in the final days to see a dolphin. It's the only thing we can do for her. <laughs> <laughs> no one else had claimed it, love. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hour and 20 inches for you. I get the first. <laughs> you get the first hat. Brand new bunny rabbit toys with its eye ripped off. Eliza is stitched in the back. Fuzzy bunny rabbit toy with one eye missing. Noah lured me into this trap. Step by step using the victim's doll. He seemed to know what I care about most of all. This is his specialty. Discovering the most vulnerable part of someone, then break them down slowly and methodically. This gift can never be given back to its owner. It had been through so much pain, so much despair. I probably should be reading it with more emotion, but uh, I don't feel as much emotion as this guy does. Drip, drip. Hotel staff uniform stained with blood. Noah dressed up as hotel staff to enter the room, kill the wife, and then back to the other family and then call the other family members in using the wife's cell phone, only to kill them as well. White birds are all lit up, so there should be a sculpture. I forgot to actually read the next line. Whoops. Huh. How did you make that one? Hmm. That one's less impressive than the other one somehow. 
This is a sculpture of the White Feather King, another of Bassan's embodiments, which can reveal all lies and barriers, meaning this sculpture was used as Noah's motivation to kill. How many of these forms do we have? I'll rip off the masks of false performers. Hypocrites who hide the truth from each other will be punished. Hiding the truth from their own child to create a false happiness. Hypocrisy. It is the selfish act of genetic modification that led to the incurable disease, and they pretended to be loving and struggling parents. Deceit is against Bisson's will. I feel like you dick this a little bit personally, Noah. I reveal the truth. I fulfill the oracle of fusion. Combined together, their disease is shared, and therefore the disease is no more. That's not how sharing works. Nonsense. All you do is kill innocent people while you hide behind your mask. You gradually step closer and closer to the realm of God, towards his highest palace. I received salvation here, and so shall you. Repent in the name of God! Your spirit truly thins out. The vessel is synchronizing. You do not notice, but the person in the mirror has secretly begun to change. Give me. Oh, we can check the mirror. I obtained the last organ. Ugh, pain in my head. This strange wavelength. Can't stand it. Feel desperate, hopeless, insane. Synchronizing. Person in the mirror secretly begun to change. No one mentioned the vessel several times. These crazy words must be leading towards something else. What madness awaits me now? I don't think. Oh, this mirror doesn't reflect, so we can't look at it. Okay, we go. No one's gonna possess you. Back at the first crime scene. Time to put in all the bits. Put the recovered organs back in the place. Beep bop boop. <laughs> Hallucination, uh, gone? Hey, the signal projector! Just like you saw in the abandoned ship cabin. Hallucination didn't appear out of thin air, the device was causing it. Okay, well, it's not broken this time. Looks like the moment I entered the ventilation room, I fell into the hallucination created by Noah. Well, yeah. Maybe see all the old crime scenes, but for what? And more importantly, why did he make it so that you would stop seeing them? How do you like the memory album I made especially for you? The two of us had so many beautiful times together. I was hoping you could disrupt one of my plans at least once. You really disappointed me. You finally true shown your true colors, Noah. No more hiding. Hiding? <laughs> planning something far deeper and underground. I was thinking of inviting you, my old friend, to have a look. I don't know whether you can stop me this time. <laughs> Couple of them. Into the hole. Interesting. I can't believe there's an abandoned sanctuary here. Stained glass on the wall is... Basan? Who would build something like this in such a gloomy place underground? <sighs> this used to be an underground factory under the human ro... This used to be an underground factory during the human robot war, where robots and poor people worked together day and night. It must have been abandoned after the war. Records suggest people continued to hide here. If a god came to those people and told them he was happy to accept them, it's not surprising they would build a sanctuary for him. Why did you turn up out of nowhere again? I could have used a friendly face back there. A strong interruptive wave was holding me back, like I said before. If you stay away from those signal projectors, the wave disappears. This lady just gonna live in my head forever. Welcome to the science. <laughs> Skeleton loot. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Welcome to the <Bassan. laughs> Welcome to the Skeleton loot. <laughs> Welcome to 
Aucasson's holy sanctuary. This is the realm of God. Repent your sins to ensure you are a clean vessel. This is a requirement. Stop talking nonsense. I have figured out how you made those hallucinations. Without the hallucinations, you can't do anything. Have you figured it out? Am I in hallucination now? Is this holy place a hallucination? Or everything you have seen after you fell is only a sweet dream that I have created for you? <laughs> I'm done listening to your bullshit. All I know is this gun is real. Uh, this is a bad idea. Uh, can you hold your hand steady a little bit there? Bullet can't hurt him? Am I still hallucinating? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the doot! Excellent. Thank you, love. Mr. Detective, are you going to hurt me a second time with that gun? <laughs> you idiot! The inter interruptive source is on the bird... Face person, I can feel it. Use your brain. I didn't expect you to bring an annoy that annoying captain with you. If you are not ready to repent your sins, then I'll have to purify you myself. The wave interference is causing his figure to shift in and out of you. I need to think of a way to take out the entire area. Sh chandelier? Oh, I'll knock the chandelier down. Okay. Oh, I have to shoot it multiple times. I thought I was going to have to wait until it was, uh... I'm going to have to redo this. Don't mind me. And I died. The end. Now nah, we'll try again. I'm not really good at these ones. They're like timed ones. Did I get him? Well, let's have a look. Uh, probably not. If anything, you probably crushed Charles. Did he escape again? What's this? No, a sickle with a small signal projector inside the handle. Okay. No, a sickle with a signal projector. I understand. Using the hallucinations to mask his true body. There's some robot replenishing liquid, clear in color, not yet oxidized. It must have leaked out of a robot not long ago. Did Noah turn himself into a mechanical being? If so, he's going to be more difficult to handle. Eh, he must have been wounded, so he can't have gone too far. Had to hurry up. Are you gonna take the sickle with you? No? Book. Old Roverus book. Probably has a prophecy of Basan's return. Uh, yeah? Things. Thank you for the thing. Basan, the goddess, will return to Earth on the day when the moon disappears. The goddess collected, collects the frequency of all go the gods and burns them into her circuits. With a holy flower made from melted silicone crystal on the head, her holy body is surrounded by the voice of praise. The sharp claws of the goddess made the guards in the courtyard of the gods bow their heads, allowing her to cross the garden and return to the Earth. The shapeless goddess needs a body, half flesh and blood, half mechanical fusion. This combination will carry the will of Bassans. And I can't go to the next page. It's very obviously... Oh, hello. These people and this disturbing sound. Am I hallucinating? What are you talking about? What hallucination? There is nothing. I can't detect any interruptive signal. You can't see it? It looks like... You were right when you said these hallucinations will affect my brain permanently, seeing the aftermath of hallucinations. Fluctuations in your head do seem more chaotic now. These crime scenes weren't created just to make me recall past events, but to drag me inside the hallucination. Looks like the situation is worse than I expected. I need to get over this quickly. Uh, I don't know how you could without, like, sitting down and meditating or something. Path to the elevator. Oh, look, there he is. Who's the injured one now, bucko? He's going up. Okay. Noah was wounded by the chandelier. This is my chance. I have to go out 
after him in the second elevator. Uh, do I need to do something? Or do I just kind of... I forgot to read. That should be good. What? Are you not good enough for you? You can't jump down? Oh, okay. go the opposite direction? I am a little confused. This is... It didn't... Is that good enough? We need to get this trash out. Yeah, that seems good. Alright. Hoppy hoppy. Hop. Got some mad hops. Elevator's still working. We need to go deeper. I mean, this one says it goes up, and that one says it goes down, so I don't think this is the right way, but okay. <laughs> With no stairs, there's no way we're getting out of this alive. Oh, hello. They seem to have a cap. They're like mermaid. Trying all sorts of ways to combine people. And robots, I assume. Oh my. Biological breeding tubes. Looks like someone's been doing genetic experiments. My database categorized these as deeply illegal band science. Deeply illegal. As opposed to shallow illegal. Not surprised. Noah is a fanatic for genetic experimentation. Can't believe we found his base so quickly. There's only one elevator exit, which means Birdface didn't come through here. Besides, I don't sense any wave signals around, so we should be safe. Can't lower my guard. Have to check this out. Like I said, we should have gone up, not down. Number four copy report. The hand proliferates into whisker-like granulation, adhesion of upper muscular tissue, E-grade defective product. This one didn't form legs. Number eight copy report. Atrophy below the thoric cavity, missing internal organs, F grade defective product. Yeah. Number 11 copy report. There's there is significant reversion, leg tissue not completely differentiated. Mandible appears to be gill tissue. Alveolar viscals. E grade defective product. Honestly, that one's probably not bad. You just activated the wrong gene. Number 15, copy report. The legs develop into tumor-like tissues. Some internal organs are missing. E-grade defective product. Shouldn't it be F like this one? If it's missing organs. Number 16, copy report. Mesoderm development is out of control. Muscle and systemic circulatory system is disordered and proliferated. F-grade defective product. Yep. Uh. Number 23, copy report. The blast blastocyst stage is damaged by fungal radiation. Is it a fungus or is it a radiation? The gene fragments are completely chaotic and the adult body is completely composed of proliferating cells. F level defective product. Yes. That one looks like it's almost perfect. Number 33, copy report. 
tip of the spine is split, which leads to parallel proliferation of the head. All heads lack brainstem tissue. He level. Okay. Number 42, copy report. Body copying is mostly successful. Some small defects can be repaired through plastic surgery. However, the development of the prefrontal lobe is abnormal, thus unable to carry out consciousness transference. A grade. Number 77, copy report. Ocular genes and other genes are co-transcribed and the internal organs are replaced with tissue cells such as conjunctiva lens. E grade detect defective. Hey, Lunar! Or I forget if you go, if it's Luna or Lunra. You have to remind me how to pronounce your name. Luna. Yeah. Okay. We're at the ending of this uh, detective game. We are wandering around the bad guy's base and uh, then we'll actually go catch up to him maybe. A lab? Is this where Noah conducted all his twisted experiments? Beep 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 beep. Badge is making noise again. Signal's very strong this time. This Charles you're looking for should be close by. That means he's probably dead. Hope the old man's okay. Nope. Do you sense any hallucination interference nearby? No hallucination interference here. However, there's so many complicated electronic devices in the lab, I'm sensing that the wave bounds on these devices have been encrypted. Must be a lot of secrets here. Secrets, huh? Well, we've lost Noah for the time being because we went down instead of up. So let's figure out what he's been researching for the past 13 years. Luna Ray. I know the numbers make it a little confusing, but the regular spelling was taken. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, let's go poke around in the evil scientist lab. Strange device with colorful signal lights on it. This must be equivalent equipment for handling cargo. Why is it installed here? Uh, that should be pretty obvious. Don't touch yet, there might be a switch. Yes, I mean, it's pretty obvious. He wants to deliver the signal thingies all over. Let's read papers. Put the thing in the robot. It's fries, put liquid in it, and we have control of it. We can make it dance if we want to. Can we leave its friends behind? Yes. Robots are controlled by the external signal. Implanted devices are both input mechanism for nanofluid and receiver external control signals oh hydrate okay uh i have my soda but i don't have my water ah there it is not a lot left but that's okay check the freezer to see if the chocolates are ready stretch okay love It was nice of him to put it in a picture format instead of in words. <laughs> All the hydrates and stretch, yeah. Mm. So the implanted devices in their brains are both the input mechanism for nanofluid and the receiver for external control signals. Signal projector then produces hallucinations that must be an enhanced version of these implanted devices. You can receive noise hallucination signals, magnify them, and project them. Was it designed for people who don't have implanted devices in their brain like me? I mean... Yeah, it would work pretty well, but it's how, like, badly you're affected by it. You're only part robot. Or... Why would it affect humans? Consciousness transmission device. A huge machine to interrupt people's brainwaves. Consciousness transmission device. Seems to be able to interrupt consciousness by enhancing brainwaves. These devices we saw are only receivers. The machine here is what's really creating hallucinations. That's handy. Date of admission. Uh, is 9 August. I think so. August 31st, 2127. 
Patient number two. Preliminary diagnosis. Infection caused by a gunshot wound and a severe genetic disease. Details. The patient was originally found in the East District sewers. He was transferred to a sterile incubation pool to maintain his chances of survival. Targeted medicine was used to control symptoms, and the patient himself proposed special medical and chemical theories. Due to these theories, the treatments for Luna <laughs> and patient 2 were adjusted. Consciousness implantation has become the leading... Looks like Doc Edward saved Noah's life, and he's been working with Noah ever since. If only he had known what the final result would be. The doctor's in a can. Well, not a can, really. Okay, let's see... Unknown tissue. Yes. Nano liquid. More active than the fluid from before. Is this enhanced? <laughs> Apparently you were treated for a genetic disease. Or for fungus. I wasn't quite clear. Data... Large storage server must contain Noah's research. However, the data could self-destruct if broken into. Here, let's see. Uh, yes. You are a hell hand, I guess that's fair. Yeah. So, there's slots of special... He proposed special medical and chemical theories. So, Luna and patient 2 were adjusted. Infection caused by gunshot wound and severe genetic disease. So we'll see what this is first. Giant life support device. It wasn't easy transporting such a sophisticated equipment down here. The whole thing is covered by a heavy metal, metal curtain. It's gotta be an important detail. Could Noah be hiding here? This life support device has too much encryption for me to crack. Can you open the metal curtain? No, the encryption method is quite advanced. I can't do it either. Let's investigate further. Maybe we can find a way to open it. I imagine Charles is inside. And he's part of a big, um, beautiful sculpture. Let's poke the lady first. And look, it's Luna with purple hair. The patient began showing symptoms in their fifth year of marriage and was diagnosed with hereditary genetic disease. During the early stage, chemotherapy suppressed the symptoms, but the effect of the genetic disease on the organs gradually spread. During the middle stage, parts of the patient's organs were replaced with artificial organs, and the patient had to survive in a sterile life support cabin. While the tech with the technical support of patient 2, attempts are being made to project Luna's brainwaves into a robot using Spark. Backup, cloning Luna with somatic cells and brainwave transmissions into an organic vessel afterwards. Luna, the doctor's wife. Experimental subjects in the test tube workshop were for her. Doctor wanted to transfer his wife's consciousness into a new body. I doubt that's what Noah wanted to do. Was the person I met at the clinic actually a clone cultivated there? Uh, yeah, that's possible. The nurse could be a clone. A research note on nanofluid. Mechanism, invade electronic brains via nano robot liquid, turns off the independent consciousness program, and at the same time uses this spark implant to control the behaviors of mechanical bodies. Achievements. Currently, it isn't completely possible to control robots injected with nano liquid. The only drawback is the efficacy of the nano fluid reduces quickly. Extended control requires continuous injection. Question. Spark implant was found in the brain of the robot provided by patient two. This device has the ability to break through electronic brain defense. More functions have been developed in subsequent studies. However, the origin of the device remains a mystery, and patient 2 refuses to disclose more information. As a suspected na nanofluid and implanted devices work in tandem, and Doc Edwards' name for the implant is Spark. Uh, okay. I hope it lets me have a picture of this so that I don't forget. So purple. So purple two. Yellow. Uh, purple two. Yellow three. Orange four. Okay. How dare they experiment on you? I know, Luna. It's so rude. Well, they just wanted to bring you back to life. I think the wife is dead. 
And so you live on in the in the clone that doesn't know she's a clone. She's a nurse for the doctor. Yes. The operation prompt for the chain console. I should try replicating this pattern. Yes. Wait. Is there anything else I can click on? Can I go snooping through his files? Or is this the only files that I understand? Oh well. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Playing with the little switch. I mean, give them that. You want to live. They did good. <laughs> Let's see. So you have to go here. Uh, that seems good. No, I don't. I don't want that to move. Okay. Is this not the answer? This looks like the answer. Do you want to move these lower? Is that the problem? This is like pulling on strings for a, uh, what's it called? For a jacket. Okay. Now what? Push the, Push the button. Pink, yellow, orange, green, blue. Right. Let's make sure those are the same colors. Pink, yellow, orange, green, blue. Right. It looks like this. I don't really know what else it wants. Do I hit this button? No. It doesn't help at all. Did I move this one too? I'm pretty sure that's what it was already at before, but eventually I got it to work. There are stairs now. Secret passage weighs so far underground. This is so like Noah. Sly and cautious. Uh. I don't know. I think he just has a thing for being down low. Well. Can sense the signal again. Charles must be close by. Is he in the heap that I didn't get to check earlier? What's this? Clothes. Delivery guy who gave me the parcel was wearing these. Everything began with that parcel. Okay. I mean, I kind of... I want to poke the machine again. Can we poke the machine? I know that we should go to Noah or whatever, but hey, we poke the machine. Can't be opened this moment. Eh, fine. This is Noah's black robe. How come it was left here? Looks like he was badly hurt. Replenishing liquid disappeared here. The guy must be... Let me out, please! Anybody? Hear that? Someone's calling for help behind the door. Hey, it's Charles! He's alive! Are he and Noah behind that door? I only sense one organic life, but there's indeed an another unusual wave. Be careful when you go in there. Don't shoot anything. Hey, buddy. Bastard, let me out! Edward! Think about what you're doing! Charles? Thank God, you're alive. Who's there? Huh? Haha! <laughs> Detective Rex, it's you! Wow, am I lucky. How'd you find this place? Come on, get me out. Uh, first, what is this? Is this lady? This robot from the wounds on the body was probably dressed up as Noah I, as the Noah I attacked earlier. Where's that man? Wait, I remember this robot. Yeah, Angela, the missing waitress from the fantasy jellyfish. I was way too drunk to even remember taking that job. Why her? And where's the real Noah? Hello, Mar. How's it going? 
The wave fluctuation from here is the same as the bird face man we saw earlier. The nail liquid must be controlling her and repairing her wounded body gradually. I have to stop it now. Wouldn't waste your time. Once the equipment starts running, it seems it cannot be stopped. In order to prevent accidents, the robot is locked in the machine. Bastard. He only uses innocent people. Let's get Charles out first. Maybe he knows how to stop the device. First, pipe. Pipe always good. Oh no, it's a whole crowbar. Excellent. Give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it and I shall move the world. You may need this. Okay, assess it. Doc Edward's diary. Okay, let's read a dead man's diary. <laughs> the weirdest thing happened today. I found a bird-faced man in the sewer near the clinic. He was weak, near death, severe wounds, infection, and genetic diseases ate away at his body. Huddled in that sewage, he might have died at any moment. But he didn't even ask for help. Instead, the masked face said, Do you need me? And he was right! He can help me cure Luna! This Noah has accumulated a vast knowledge of chemistry and biology, and most importantly, he possesses, he possesses the kind of madness that goes hand in hand with using long band technologies. I saved him, as much as I can, and in return the bird-faced man has guided me step by step to resurrect my Luna. I didn't want to hurt those robots, but well, I had no choice. I failed to transfer Luna's thoughts into the original subjects. Only the memories made into the subjects. Luna's personality was not transplanted successfully. Today we had a breakthrough. The monster is truly a genius. By using spark and nano liquid, we managed to actually control robots. Nobody will believe it. We used a consciousness transmission device to remotely send signal waves and transmit consciousness into the robot's bodies. Although it's not perfect yet, I can only currently control these robots remotely. More work needed to save Luna. I don't understand how controlling robots equals resurrecting wife, but go off. Consciousness transmission device. It's brainwave amplifying tr and transmitting device based on Spark, which transfers the user's consciousness to another receiver. When the tr receiver is a human, only the user's memory can be transmitted because of the block from the special personality that's unique to human beings. I don't know, the robots had consciousness. It was like the whole thing about the human robot war is that they had consciousness. I'm working day and night now and always that monster is there at my shoulder. At this stage, consciousness transmission onto mechanical receivers is under development. Obstacles in the research. The user of the transmission device can only project part of his consciousness onto the mechanical receiver, just enough to initiate kind of a remote control. But it's not enough. <laughs> Failure. But although the test subject's experiment failed, I improved the con consciousness transmission device. Luna, you will soon return to me with a mechanical body. I haven't told the monster about this. He's just using me, and the robots controlled by Spark seem to have gone beyond my control, too. I have a plan. Once the experiment is over, I will take you away from this country to an unknown island. Let that monster go to hell. Yeah, about that. Is this my photo on the board? Yes. This information is back from when I returned to Starlight City after my mechanization was completely stabilized. Thanks to Abel's sacrifice at the Apocalypse Garden incident, I wouldn't even be alive today. Something about that sentence is incorrect, but I don't know how to fix it. Has Noah been studying me all this time? I mean, you probably. What the Noah refers to me as the vessel in the records, and the date circled in red is the date when I received the parcel. He's been after me since the beginning. Vessel. Yes. I would have thought that would have been obvious, but I guess you need a sticky note on a wall to understand that he thinks you are the vessel that he needs. Hello, I have a crowbar for you. I don't even try the lock, I just crowbar the thing. Where are you going, dude? Oh, you're trying to stop it? Whew. Well, you're not controlled anymore. What? Well, what is this place? Who are you? Don't be afraid, little girl. I already temporarily suppressed the nanofluids control over you, and I'll give you a good cleaning up once we get back to my workshop. 
Thank God you're here, Charles. Her name is Angela. She's been under control since being kidnapped by the doctor. She's even... She was even dressed up as Noah earlier. Detective, I'm completely shocked by this affair. This was the work of Edward and that Noah guy. Once I checked the sample he gave me, I knew it was Edward who made it. He's very talented when it comes to nanorobots. I couldn't imagine the... After so many years, I couldn't imagine him making such a terrifying thing. H hurry up, the spooky doctor. If he comes back... Don't worry, Angela. The doctor's not going to return. What? Did you, uh, er, chat with him? No, it was Noah, or rather, Angela, but it's not important anymore. Dr. Edward is gone. He wasn't like this in the beginning. He did it all for Luna. He was used by that guy for his love of Luna. <laughs> this is very amusing when there's someone named Luna in my chat. <laughs> Angela, please, can you tell us anything that could help us find Noah? Who's Noah? I, I don't know. I'm so confused right now. I feel like I've had the longest dream. I did awful things in the dream, even though I didn't want to. Humans and robots were all... Easy, Rex. Let her calm down first. She was just freed from the nanofluid's control. You did nothing? No, apparently you were so, like, the best wife ever that they, wanted, they decided to control robots to put your uh, memories and consciousness into the robot. Well, in that case, you should go back up to the lab, Charles. There's some kind of giant life support tank up there, and I want to crack it open. Oh, no. That was not Noah. That was... <sighs> Let's go. I'll show you. Okay. No, I want to check the other thing. Okay. It's Luna! Yeah, the real Luna. Poor thing. I should have guessed. No one could recover from a horrible genetic disease. Oh, for that particular one, I whatever it is. It's only last night that I discovered Edward had been maintaining Luna's broken body using life support equipment. He was planning to transfer his wife's consciousness into a new body using Noah's technology. However, Luna's been tortured spiritually and physically. Oh god, she's actually consciously awake. <laughs> Why does she have the hair like you? This game just got terrifying. I know! It's so weird! And it and as far as I remember, there wasn't any mention of the name Luna. Like they mentioned a wife, but I don't think it said the name Luna at all until we got to this portion. <laughs> Ch Charles, why are, are you are you here? And you, the vessel. You know me? Why the hell do you know anything about me? All this is because of you. Please stop, Edward. He's lost in too deep. Um. Which one do I say? I think I'll just say he's gone. Noah killed Edward. I warned him. He can't. He can't trust that person. This is for the best. At least, no more innocent lives will be lost. Charles, please turn off this equipment. I'm in so much pain, I should have died a long time ago. Instead of living, living like a monster here like this. Uh, Luna, I've known you for so many years. You and Edward were my best friends. What what should I do? Friend, tell me. If you were me, what would you do? Turn off the damn equipment? Is this even a question? It will end her pain. She has been through too much. Thank you, Detective. Luna will be finally free of pain. She doesn't... Yeah, no. I don't know why this is even a question. Just turn off the damn thing. Um, Luna will be free, which is the best result. Detective, are you alright? You look pretty bad shape. I had to replace a few parts. And, like, I keep standing next to signal boosters that mess with my head. So, and I, I'm an alcoholic that hasn't had a drink in, like, days. So, no, I'm probably not doing great. Not hurt, but Noah's hallucinations have, me influ have been influencing me this whole time. I feel more and more strange. Hallucinations? Can someone without an implanted device be influenced too? You only have half an electronic brain, don't you? I could tell you about that. What's up, Angela? Also, this thing is really cold. 
Angela, are you feeling better? You remember anything? When I was controlled by the, what'd you call it, nano fluid? I still had some hold over my own consciousness, so I knew something about their plan. All this was done to get you here, beginning when I delivered the parcel to you. And they have another machine, but it isn't here. A machine designed just for you. Yeah, I can remember using her now. From the moment you first touch the device in the parcel, each touch pulls you deeper and deeper into hallucinations, and each hallucination was designed specifically to synchronize your brain waves to that machine. According to what they said, if the synchronization is allowed to finish, your consciousness will be erased and your body will... will become a vessel for Noah? Ugh, that's ridiculous. All this was done for my broken body? Ah, but your body's very special. Looks like you're not aware of what your body can do. It's something people dream to have. And you don't take care of it. You haven't been to maintenance in like five years. According to Angela, you must stop entering the hallucinations. If you're robbed of your body, then who knows what Noah will do? More crime. I, I don't think that's a question. He will do more crime. <laughs> more horrific sculptures. <laughs> Noah, every day he's allowed to walk free on this planet. More people will be deceived and hurt. I can't let this continue. See, you made up your mind. If you're determined to beat him, there must be a way. After I was captured, Edward shared a lot of research about consciousness transmission. Now, I reckon the consciousness transmission device can work both ways. Oh? What are you getting at, Charles? When you are dragged into the hallucinations, you're connected with the equipment. Or, you are connected with the person who's controlling that equipment. If you're well strong enough, you might be able to influence the consciousness of that person instead. You mean I can alter the hallucinations? Did you not try that before, Rex? <laughs> I need to get out of the hallucinations by following them exactly and not thinking about them at all. Like I said, you need to straight up meditate to get rid of this shit. Yeah, it won't be easy. You better think it through before you meet him. I don't know who this Noah is, but that doctor took the elevator deep down below. Deeper than I've ever been. Hiding even deeper underground. That's where my final battle is. Cool beans. Can we play with the computer some more? See, in this one, Luna has purple hair, but in the tube, she has blue hair. Okay, words. How will you deal with this research? It can't fall into the wrong hands. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Nanofluid was originally developed for a good purpose, even if that good purpose was forgotten along the way. About the consciousness transmission device, when you find Noah, please just destroy it. Are you comfortable with your what you're about to do? Uh, yeah? Sorry, Mr. Detective. I hurt you, but it was not of my own will. Never mind that. I'm used to being hurt by beautiful women. This is an odd time to flirt, Rex. Your friend Brayden will be thrilled to know you're alive. Brayden? Who's that? Yeah, I haven't got all my memory back yet. I don't know. Oh, hey lady. You're not coming with? What are you doing here? Huh? I need some air after being stuck in that badge for so long. But Detective Dumbass, watch out, okay? To me, it seems like everything is a big trap designed for you by whoever this Noah character is. Are you really going to walk right into it? Yes. Rex is a, Rex is a smart man, but he is not he's he's not uh good at thinking things through. <laughs> of course I am. I will run him down, springing whatever trap he has set along the way. You sound confident. Maybe you should consider bringing a, making a copy of your consciousness. That way, if you fail, you can go on with your detective game at the electrode state. Thanks for your advice, but uh, nah, I'm not interested in electrode state. Don't want to be a hologram? What's wrong with being a hologram? You gonna jump off for the night? Have an awesome rest of the stream? Okie dokie, Luna! Have a good night! No. Chocolate! Chocolate good. Am I ready to go? 
Um, oh, give me a sec. It's not really anything to prepare, really. Life support system off. Okay, I think I just had to talk to everybody. I don't think I even really had to. I just sort of did. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah. Let's go! Noah, I'm coming to rough you up one more time. Although, I told you it may be possible to fight against hallucinations, it'll be extremely difficult. Think it through. Don't worry about me, Charles. I've done this before. Hey, no, you haven't. You haven't fought the hallucinations at all. You take Angela and leave quickly as possible. Captain Ramrod knows the way out. Thank you. I'll see you back at the surface, Detective. Be careful, Detective Dumbass. Come back alive. You have to take me back to Destiny Fire. Such sweet words from an AI. Maybe I'll try to survive after all. I like that he is Detective Dumbass. That's a very good, very apt name for him. Yep. Well, this is cool. Sparkling lake water. It's me and Light Lake that he mentioned in his holographic message. According to Noah, he's expecting me to undergo some kind of test down here. In the most beautiful place lives the darkest souls. Sunday dawn. Okay. Drifting on the clear lake water, the perfect vessel is purified and brought to me. A body of both flesh and machine will pave the way for Basan's arrival. The time for rebirth has come. I have waited too far too long for this. Come here and sing an ode to my new life. You didn't say which way is here. I guess it's not that way. Can I just yeet myself off the edge? The ignorant wanderer. Stupid little detective, bow your head and witness Basan's vital embodiment. The omniscient judge. Okay. Hey, it's, it's the person from the thing. She's very big. How do I get up there? Is this a timed thing? I hope not. Colors. Basan's eye comes at my call and ga its gaze penetrates those who pretend to be righteous. Come feel the heat that goes into one's soul. Wait, Basan's eye? My memory isn't shot from all that drinking. This stands for the eye of punishment that clears hypocrisy. Like Charles said, if I can focus, I can redirect Noah's attack. Perhaps you can use the attack in my favor. Final game has just started, detective. Now I shall watch you run from the light like an insignificant cockroach you are. Okay. Whoop. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Hey, it worked. I just kind of clicked buttons until it let me go. Next one. <laughs> There's the bones. You are good, detective. I made the right decision in choosing you as the vessel. But your resistance is futile. Yeah, yeah, you're losing the game, Noah. Get this over with. Almost. What is this? Almost.
Try this laser show. Come here. What does this middle one do exactly? Hmm. Oh, does it switch? Almost. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so not that one. Shoot me! There you go. Alright. Up as we go. Up, up, up. Hello, lady. Hmm, now there's a third one. Those possessing the hubris to challenge God shall fail. Anyone who meets the eye of God shall plummet to the greatest height. From the greatest height. Detective, I had enough with this game. This is where your life ends. Shoot me. Okay. So we gotta get. Let's try this. Okay, it's not really what I was hoping for. Oh, it has little arrows pointing. I didn't realize that. Okay, so let's go into the yellow one. Can we? No. Maybe we end with blue? Okay, can you shoot at this green for me? Thank you. I've exploded the eyeball. Hopefully I can punch Noah now. Oh, hello, sir. I think it will require more than a punch to kill you. No, no, no! I never lose! How is it possible for you to break through my hallucination? This flesh... Noah? Is this how you look now? In a state like this, are you even human anymore? It's got human bits. Human enough. Something must have gone wrong. Basson makes no mistakes. The ceremony, the doctor, you have all been arranged. No, this can't be right. You've been relying on the consciousness transmission device to obtain the power to control others. Noah, you're sick. Inhuman device has failed to save you and instead turned you into a monster. Your body belongs to me. My disease is a test from God, which I was abandoned and despised. I was forced to suffer the most unimaginable pain. Basan made me uh, deal with me. A new body if I pass the test. A new body. All this is just your imagination. Noah, stop lying to yourself. <laughs> Detective, do you think this is the end? I'm just a small part of the darkness. As long as robots and humans exist, the cracks will not appear. Are you curious why robots have devices in their brains? 
I didn't put the device there. I just made the alteration. There is a darkness inside darkness. I'm the only one who wants to turn this ugly world upside down. Well, not the only one. Who first made the implant device? Uh, I assume the crime syndicate, dude. You will never know, detective. I'm going to Basan now. As for you, there are bombs everywhere in this place. You will die with me. <laughs> Blow it up! Blow everything up! <laughs> I almost feel like I should have put on my demonic model for that, but that's okay. Honestly, you probably still should have shot him. Like, he did way too much talking. You should have shot him and then run when the bombs started going off. What's past is new. It's the epilogue. Beep, 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 beep. Wakey, wakey. Time to get up. Jeez, you are so loud. What are you doing, BBX? Do you want to be taken apart and rebuilt? I need to perform a routine checkup of your mechanical parts. It's four days overdue. Sure, sure. Whatever. Just wait for me over there and I'll come to you. Okay, let's get this over and done with. Body scan in progress. According to the scan, 98% of your mechanical parts are brand new. I can't believe you survived such a massive explosion and even got your old parts replaced with new ones. I'm surprised too. Who paid for that? Better believe it. Old Charles has got the good stuff. Even parts that are only available in Sky City. Ah, yes. About our guests. They can't just stay in our house like this. Especially the arrogant little robot. We don't have enough money to support six people. Look, BBX, we talked about this. They have nowhere to go. And the cash situation? Well, they just haven't had a lot of jobs lately. That's because you keep turning them away! There's a customer this morning waiting for you downstairs. Go have a look and don't say no. And remember to get the deposit this time. Deposit. Brand new poster. Charles must have replaced the old one. I guess Charles didn't like the sexy lady poster. <laughs> you put a burger instead. I have a new message. Hello, Mr. Detective. How have you been? Just want to tell you that without your help, I'd probably still be doing evil deeds under the control of those people. Can't thank you enough. But I'm sad I can't go back to work for the fan at the Fantasy Jellyfish or Bellflower House. I haven't once told anyone about Noah or the kidnap, just like you asked me to. People keep asking where I've been and what I've been up to, which makes me remember. But the whole thing's come to an end. I think I left the Bellflower House just to see the world outside Underbridge. Maybe this is what real life is like. A world full of bad people like Noah and good people like you. I decided to leave Starlight City to see a bigger world, and I'll be sending you postcards during my trip. By the way, I still can't recall who Brayden is. Forget about it, he must not be that important. <laughs> so many calls. Looks like Royd hasn't given up. Never mind, see what he wants. There will be trouble if he has come to me. What's up, Royd? Hey, Rex, you finally called me back. When are you going to tell me more about that case? I'm under a lot of pressure from my superiors. Don't make this so hard on me. <laughs> Royd, I told you everything I know. It was real, real cool the king even let you into the Underbridge district for investigation. Hey, don't play with dumb with me. When had a hard time with people in the Underbridge... We had a hard time with people in the Underbridge for two weeks, but ended up with a pile of relics. Only unknown broken robots, bodies, and fungi. There was a lab down there, wasn't there? I don't know where it came from, but we have a lot of information that says Noah and the doctor were working on... What... You know, and the doctor we're working on was relevant to the revolutionary riots. Now my superiors are going crazy urging me to investigate anything and everything. They want answers. Looks like you're working very hard, but it's exactly like I told you. I haven't found Noah. I'm just a victim of an explosion. Alright, Rex. You're not ready to tell me the truth yet. 
really hope you aren't involved in this. You know how sensitive this is for our superiors. Well, these superiors. They're not your superiors. Forget. Forget it. Look, do you want to have a drink at the Fantasy Jellyfish? I have a friend I'd like you to meet. You're trying to make me drunk so I'll talk. You've been more desperate. You must be even more desperate than you sound. Well, I'll see you tonight then. Didn't expect this incident to cause such a big aftershock. Why not? It was like a. It was like Noah was a big incident. Why would you be surprised that him doing more stuff would not be a big incident? But it has got me thinking. The Mrs. Perry murder happened before Noah sent me his gift. Timing at the crime. Hey, Aqua! I'm finishing up my game. We're in the epilogue now. Yes, yes. Hi, hi! It's good? Yeah, it was a very good game. Um, I enjoyed the majority of the puzzles. The only ones that I didn't enjoy were the timed ones. And there was only like two and they were almost at the end. So the rest of it was more of a just sort of dodging things or figuring out stuff. There was one, there was like a secret puzzle that I looked up because I didn't understand. And it turned out that uh, an ace in, um, what's it called? In poker is different from an ace in blackjack. And even though we had played blackjack upstairs, it actually wanted you to read it as a poker card. And that was very confusing. Or was it, no, it was a queen. I think it was a queen. But either way, that, that, I had to look that up. <laughs> but the main part of the story I did all uh, just by trying really hard. <laughs> the timing of the crime and the crime scene evidence both indicate this wasn't done by Noah. There must be someone else who used the implant device to help the butler robot break the three principles. Didn't Noah say something about simply being altering devices that were already... That's correct. What's the original maker these devices have planned? Maybe that's what Noah said was true. The layers of darkness that fold over each other deeper and deeper. What's this? Charles has been through my wardrobe. Uh, that smell. Is that fabric conditioner? <laughs> Charles has adopted you. Good, luck. Good job. Time for a quick morning beer me up. What? Juice and yogurt. Gonna murder those kids. What, did the children get into your beer? The model's naked. The burn mask and the and the files have been put away in the attic. For good? I would hope so. Oh, one of the child. Hello, child. Lula. Your BPX robot is really lovely. I'm like a kind of motherly matron. It always wakes me up in the sweetest of ways. A cup of tea, lullaby, the morning news. And these cats are lovely, too. I like the white one. This white cat used to belong to Mrs. Per Perry, but after she, um, died, William brought her to my place, along with many other street cats. What a headache. Are you well? After replacing so many parts and organs, I expect your body to reject some, but you don't seem to be experiencing any side effects. <laughs> it's like a walk in the park for me. Charles is a really good technician. I feel brilliant now. William, best best character. You did me a big favor, William. I've been meaning to study you more closely. You're so much smarter than the other cats. Meow meow. Although Charles is an expert on robots, I wonder if we can ask him to do some research on William. Let's drop him down. Laser through the skull. Sss, meow meow. Well, you don't like that? Maybe I should research you myself instead. Why would you laser skull your your cat buddy? I'm confused that we kept this plushie. My, my cat's meowing now. I don't know why. Meow. Meow. What's that explosion in the attic? Charles must be doing some dangerous research again. AR Captain, why are you a maid? That Charles needs to leave this house this instant. 
By that outfit, I didn't think Captain Ramrod would be seen dead in clothes like these. You, you, shut up. It's all because of that old man. He told me he was adding me to the detective office network, but he was actually just changing my code to put me in this stupid outfit. You look good in them. Maybe next time, next time you should ask Charles. What did you say? Nothing, I was just saying I um had to go find Charles. What's the old man thinking? You better hurry up. Me, a captain in this outfit? It's humiliating. She's still hot-tempered. I would be too if someone changed my clothes without asking. I don't know what Charles is up to, but I hope he doesn't blow up the attic. You may turn off power to the attic. Why are you trying to revive that? What happened? Why is there a smoking riot robot in the attic? The modification failed. Um, thank goodness this is not my workshop where I would have to pay to repair it. Hey, robot kid. You didn't add very much to the plot, but you sure existed. Lanco. Hmm, this armor is well crafted. There's special switches inside, and if wearer doesn't understand how they work, you can never take it off again. Ah, that's why. No wonder you got stuck in there. But I did see a cluster of black. Oh, hello, fellow detective. Are you awake? Don't worry about the explosion. Grandpa knows what he is doing. It's just that his tools are still in Underridge, so, and we can't retrieve them right now. Then go, do you know what's happening in Underbridge? You got a lot of connections there. I guess since I'm living here, there's no reason not to tell you. The king has sent a lot of people to dig up the remnants of the lab, hoping to find something useful. After an explosion like that, I don't think there is much left, though. One more thing I th you might be interested in. Luna from Edward's clinic has gone missing. The Luna from the clinic? Well, you didn't bury her, so yeah, they would totally take her. That was a clone of Edward's wife. Maybe... Oh, that, that Luna. Okay, confuse me. Maybe she's gone to start a new life of her own? What's your plan now, detective? With Noah gone, you've accomplished what you set out to do so many years ago. Don't you worry about me. I can sit back and help old grandmas find lost cats until the end of my days. Did you ever get paid for the missing person? Spacious place you have here, Rex. And again, thank you for letting us hide out here. The king and the police are still trying to find anyone involved in the explosion. Letting you? I didn't exactly have much choice. You insisted on moving in. Is this the robot from Morax's shop? Yes. That young man owed me, so he gave me this robot to pay the debt. If I can alter this robot successfully, it will greatly improve our combat prowess. Looks like the robot's nearly ready. Wait, hour? Hey, White Sounds. Doing good. We're just going through the epilogue of this game. Are you never going to go back to the Underbridge District? Not at the doctor's research. And his wife, Luna. I processed Edward's research data before we escaped the lab. It is some very advanced technology, but maybe too advanced for this day and age. As for Luna, the life support tank was too big to remove, and the explosion... Well, she was buried underground with Edward's lab. In the end, she and Edward are together forever after all. There's one more thing on my mind. Before he died, Noah mentioned there he was not the one who created the implant devices. Even though this case has been cracked, there's still another layer I can't quite see. It's raining heavily down there. Ooh, nice. Rain is good. My love likes storms, but we don't really get them up here. <laughs> yes, you do, love. You miss storms. In that case, you better get this riot robot working post haste. It sounds like a bad idea, but okay. Grandpa Charles' experiments are so dangerous, so I better watch from far away. If you want to watch from far away, you should go further away, kid. That is too close. Also, don't blow up my chemical lab. I don't know what that would do. Can I go up any higher? No. Finishing work in an hour? Mm, Okie dokie. Aw, oh, I can't click on the closet again. Why are you standing at the door? Hey, 
Fancy Feather. It's Fancy Feather. It was Fancy Feather who made the appointment. Her squad of minions have taken over our living room. Why is she here? We're a long way from Underbridge. Let's bust in and wipe them out just like old times. I can enter riot in control mode anytime. Calm down. Let's hear them out first. Fancy Feather was the, like, showgirl that everybody wanted to go see. Wow. Why do you have such big robots with you? Didn't expect to see you here, Miss Fancy Feather. Did you come all the way down here to give me this new VR game console? <laughs> oh, Mr. Detective, are you playing with me? This is what and this is what you will travel in to Coral City. Coral City? You going to visit the electronic world? Sorry, Miss uh, Feather, but I'm not going back there. <laughs> I knew you would say no. Take a look at this first. You may change your mind. Hello? Is that my partner? Abel. The Coral City. Hurry. Go tell Rex. We've been hi What we have been hiding there might have been found by someone. Hurry. Be quick. The Coral City. Those guys, they want to... The terrible recording. What? Abel? But he's dead. He's half my brain now. Where'd you get this video? Video clip was sent to me from the Electrode State last night. If you act quickly, you may be able to buy some time. You seem to know a lot of things, Miss Fancy Feather. Also, where are your feathers? Are these supposed to be feathers? That's because, as stars align, so do our interests. Now, Mr. Detective, are you ready to go? Looks like I have no other choice. Abel. This is a terrible idea. Okay. Game over. <laughs> I guess there's another one. This definitely feels like the middle one of the series. Because there's a lot of reference to like a previous case with like and it had a bunch of puzzles in it. Um So I think this, this must be the second of three games. Thanks, Akla! Nice. We're gonna hang out and chill with the credits. Um, I'm surprised this is all in Japanese. Yes, I think that's Japanese. Let me see. Uh, no, actually, I think that's Chinese. That's too complicated to characters to be Japanese. They don't usually stack them that high. Yeah, Qifeng Jiang. That sounds like... The last size of the wind. Hmm. Modian.com. Interesting. But yeah, this game was very good. It had really interesting puzzles and uh, interesting story. Um, you could sort of see where it was going at certain parts, but it would still spell it out for you if you didn't understand something. Uh, apparently this was kickstartered. That's cool. <laughs> Gilbert Biochemistry Demont. <laughs> Coco. Bud. Tony. So this was apparently Kickstarter. Kickstarter... Ed. I don't know how to make that up uh, past tense. Funded. It was funded on Kickstarter. Uh, a lot of people supported it, so they must have really liked whatever the original game was. Um... If I can find the third game, I'll probably play it. I don't know if I would go back and play the first one, though. Because I already know where it's going to go from all the cut all the scenes that were in here. Okay. 
Actually, maybe I'll look that up now. Let's see, is I going to cut off the music? Oh, it does not. Excellent. Let's see. So, Tales of Neon Sea. Tales of Neon Sea. Sequel. Thanks to all that supported us. Nice. Palm Pioneer. Do you want me to click? Hmm. Well, there's a lot of people. There's a thing announcing it coming out. It came out in around 2019. So this is actually a pretty new game. Nice. Yeah, so the final chapter for this game was released on... Let's see... Yeah, it was just released in 2019. The final chapter was released in 2020. So this game is really new. I thought this would be a much older game, um, but it's actually relatively new. It's only two years old. At least in its entirety. Uh, so I doubt that it would be... I'm clicking around to see if I can find the developer. It's a Palm Pioneer. Yeah, so there's... I think this is, this is either the only game they made or the only one they put on Steam. I don't think there's a sequel because it's so new. So they just put out this chapter two years ago. But it was very good. 